How's it going guys? This is Brett with Rev Rides. Today we got something a little special for you. Yesterday in the mail we got the King Song S18. Right now Tyler is riding it. I don't know if you can see him there in the background. He's going crazy. I'm gonna be doing most of the filming and Tyler's gonna be riding it. He's already rode it about 10 miles yesterday. Uh, we had to unlock the wheels so we can get the faster speeds on it. So we unlocked it. We haven't done much of a stress test or anything. So today we're gonna take it up some steps and through some rough terrain and just kind of see what the thing is capable of. This is just a prototype. It's not a final production model. Um, you can see this is all padding. It's all soft, all the black areas. Um, it has a really nice cutout for your feet, which I wasn't expecting. Uh, your toes kind of slide in here and your heel fits in nice. Um, it definitely helps getting a little bit of lift uh, for a stock wheel. Um, I would like to see maybe some more grip, more padding up here. Uh, you can dig your shins in a little bit here, but it could use a little bit more grip to it. You've got the flagship suspension, of course. So far, it's working pretty well. Um, we've got the DNM shock is what they're going to be coming with stock. I have seen models with the Fox shock, and we're going to do a little bit of experimentation with some other shocks. It does have a trolley handle. That was a big question for a lot of folks. Uh, in this current iteration, the handle is plastic. It's going to be made out of, supposedly it's gonna be made out of steel. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we see magnesium like the other King Song handles. Uh, but as of this moment, uh, King Song has said that it's gonna be steel. It does have the standard trolley. It doesn't have a lift sensor. This model, I'm not sure if this is permanent, but when you get into this upright position, now the wheel's off and then when it's fully extended, the wheel's gonna be on here. Um, overall, the trolley works pretty well. I like the center position. It's uh, really easy to walk around with it, and uh, they did a really good job of concealing it so far. Okay, so now that we've got the speed unlocked on this uh, wheel, we're gonna go and put it through its paces. Let's do it. Look at that. Good as new. Oops. All right, so Tyler's gonna try that again. You ready? Let's do it. All 
All right, so I just went up a couple curbs on the S18. Um, still kind of getting used to the suspension. Uh, I thought I was gonna be able to preload it a little bit more. Um, I'm not sure if we need more air in the shock, um, but it's, it's a little smushy right now. Uh, we're gonna change the suspension settings a little bit and see if we can uh, get a little more bounce out of it. So stay tuned. So, so far handling is pretty good. It's like cushy. I thought that I was gonna feel less confident because it's not completely solid, but so far it feels pretty good. Um, King Song. King Song is really good about no pedal dip. Uh, it feels powerful for an 84 volt wheel very solid, the pedals, even in tight cornering positions, don't seem to dip at all, which is really nice. It's one of my favorite parts of riding King Song wheels. They really have just a rock solid pedal feel to them. This is currently set up in the highest setting. Um, it's usually how I ride my wheels, unless I'm gonna do a lot of off-roading. A little bit of off-roading, it's a little bit easier on your feet if you're gonna be in a softer setting but uh, definitely almost no feet fatigue with this wheel so far. I think it definitely alleviates the pressure on your feet. Been told I need to not totally destroy this wheel quite yet. Um, Brett still needs to take a lot of pictures of it. So we're gonna have to take it a little bit easy on some of these runs. Let's see if I can go down some stairs without scaring anybody here. Uh, normally I would try to gap these, but I'm gonna try and do it a little bit slower, maybe hit them individually. Or not. Pretty good. Um, I'm definitely keeping pretty straight legs on those. I don't really feel the need to soak them up with my feet quite as much, so definitely nice there. Do these stairs one more time, but I'm going to do them a little bit slower. Try to see if we can get some more uh, more footage of this wheel working the way it does best. Definitely feels very locked in on your feet. King Song's done a really nice job with these cutouts for your heels. I think this is the first wheel that actually felt like it was designed for a person to be standing on it, instead of just being a, just a flat surface on the sides. All right, so we just moved to a new spot. Um, I was kind of holding Tyler back on the V5F. So we moved up to this spot. Tyler says there's some nice off-road. So we're gonna kind of let him go and see how fast he can get this thing going and just kind of how it runs off-road.
Okay, so the Kingsong S18. It's a 84 volt wheel. We've got a 1,110 watt hour LG 21700 battery in this. Um, it's 29% smaller than what's in the 16X and the 18XL currently. I would say safely, you're probably gonna get about 40 miles of range with minimal throttling. Um, Kingsong advertises this at a 62 mile range. They're usually pretty good about uh, making sure you actually make it to 62 miles, maybe to a fault at times. Um, they like to throttle your speed as you get close to 0% battery. Um, but what it means is you won't be walking if you plan to ride 60 miles, um, but you just won't be doing 30 miles an hour the whole time. Got really no complaints on the 2200 watt motor. It's very quiet. Uh, especially with the latest firmware. There's pretty much no whine to it, which is great. It just sounds like you're floating. It's got uh, two 5-watt headlights for the high beam, two 4-watt headlights for the low beam. Um, similar to the 16X, you have a high and low. They work really well. They have a lot of flood to them. They don't project very far, so I would still recommend probably running like a helmet light or a, uh, a handheld if you're gonna be riding in the dark and a lot of off-road. And then, oh yeah, it has suspension, which is pretty dang cool. It's uh, got the DNM AOI 36RC shock, supposedly 100 millimeters of travel. It's an air shock, it feels really good. It's uh, fully adjustable. You've got, I've got about 250 pounds in the main chamber right now, which is, uh, quite a bit more than what you would run if you ran this in a mountain bike. Uh, but that was King Song's recommendation for my rider weight, which is about 180 pounds. And I can definitely say it feels good. It's not uh, not sagging heavily. It feels nice and firm right now. Um, it definitely smooths out the bumps. Um, there's been a couple times where I've braced for impact on something that would normally almost kick me off the front and it uh, just soaks them up really nice. Let's see if I can find some here. Yeah, like right here, I always accidentally hit this bump. It was just nice and smooth. Normally I would be crouched down, preparing for that, um, maybe unloading on it. It does have the King Song app. The latest iteration of the King Song app is better than it has been in the past. Uh, I still personally use EUC World or Wheel Log because I'm on Android. Darkness Bot is still probably the best app for iOS. You can change just about every aspect of the wheel with that. No speakers on this wheel, so no, no music through Bluetooth. Um, it doesn't talk at all. There's no Bluetooth connected, no um, please decelerate. None of those voice prompts happen on this wheel. Um, the only audible speed alarm is the beeping, which is a different tone than King Song's standard beep. They put a little bit smaller pedal on these. I'm about a, a nine, nine and a half foot shoe. It fits me pretty well. If you've got larger feet, you may not like them. Uh, currently, I believe this is the only pedal option for the S18. Uh, but it feels good. I've got no issues with the pedals. They're kind of a cool shape, a little bit different than what we've seen in the past. We're going to get it off to the reviewers here pretty soon. Um, we're probably at about 40 miles on it, and that's not really enough time to give it a full review. 
All right, so that pretty much concludes our video today on the King Song S18. Thank you, Tyler, for all the information you shared. You did the majority of the writing. I probably only wrote it for a half a mile or so. So, but he's a more experienced writer, so I felt more comfortable with him. So I know we haven't done a vlog in like what seems to be like a year. I feel like it's probably yeah, only been a probably. few months. But with COVID and the weather and everything, it really just like. I don't know, it was really hard climate for us to start filming, but I think as the weather gets better and things begin to open up, we're gonna be doing a little bit more of these videos. So if you guys have any ideas of what we can do, drop a comment below. We'd love for suggestions. Uh, the team here at RevRides is constantly growing, so you're probably gonna see some new faces and everything, but everything here is going well, and we hope to get some more fresh content out and keep giving you guys the best recreational electric vehicles there are. Yeah.